Welcome back to Crystal Clear! I'm Ultrick Vox, and Spinel is without a doubt a fan favorite of the Steve Universe franchise after its hit television movie. And really, Spinel is one of the biggest, if not the key factor, as to why the movie was a success, becoming an internet phenomenon that introduced thousands to the series. And for good reason. Spinel has a tragic yet relatable backstory, appealing design with alternate skin, accompanied with gorgeous animation and key moments, and although she has her moments, she's hilarious and sometimes downright chilling. Although she was given a pretty sweet conclusion by the end of the film, leaving Earth with the diamonds with a new goal to strive towards, things could have been very, very different for Spinel. As an interview with Rebecca Sugar reveals that Cartoon Network at one point during production wanted to see Spinel D-I-E at the hands of S-T-E-V-E-N. Let's take a look at this excerpt from the interview and even explore how this event would have affected Steven by the end of the film and going into future. Alright, so this dates back to one of the farewell interviews Sugar partook in right as Future was winding down. This particular article is from Variety, which states the following. The climax of Steven Universe the movie comes not when the hero bows the vengeful, superpowered alien atop the planet-destroying weapon. It arrives a beat later, when the titular Steven and his adversary Spinel form a delicate friendship while standing in a smoldering crater of their own making. Steven helps Spinel see that all of the trauma she suffered can't be erased, personal growth is good and positive. Possible. Their rapprochement follows a slugfest as action-packed as any you'll find on Cartoon Network, and creator Rebecca Sugar had to fight like hell for it. I would get these notes that he should obliterate her and rid the universe of her evil. That's not really what our show is about, but it's what is expected from children's programming, that if there's a bad person, you kill them, and then everything will be fine. I just think there should be some alternative. And alternative we got, as Steven was able to get through to Spinel. The movie capping off the relationship on good terms, although she still drives Steven cuckoo bananas. I, I can make a change. So yeah, it's easy to see that, even with notes, why this ending did not come to fruition. Killing off Spinel would not have fit a Steven Universe movie, especially with the way this particular story was set up. Steven spending an entire movie getting the memories of the Crystal Jones back, this throw down memory lane reinforcing to the audience that no matter where you come from, no matter what you've been through, you can still change and grow as a person, coming out stronger and happier for it. So going through all of those motions and then getting Spinel's origins, only for Steven to go and kill her in the final act? It would have been messy to say the least. This isn't your annual comic book blockbuster film. The villain doesn't have to die at the end. Not to mention, considering the movie and future were developed around the same time, perhaps Rebecca Sugar already had a particular vision for which character would get shattered, and it would not be in the movie. I personally think in order to make this work, Spinel would have had to have done something irredeemable, something that either Steven's powers or singing and crying could not have fixed. Like if the Mega Injector's poison actually took out Greg, and Steven was there to witness it before the resolution unable to revive his father for whatever reason, or if Spinel went even darker and was literal moments away from shattering the crystal gems and actually murdering Steven's organic friends and family. But I believe this also would have changed the film's ending. We already saw what shattering a gem by accident does to Steven. And while the context with Future was a completely different story, I still think it would have gave Steven that feeling of, oh no, I'm no better than the diamonds. And instead of Spinel leaving with the diamonds, the movie could have became a lot more open-ended or at least not so much of a standalone as Steven takes up the diamonds offer from the beginning of the movie, moving in with them as he either works on his problems or succumbs to them, setting the stage for a much darker Steven Universe future. Yeah, even more depressing than it already was. Even if Steven did shatter Spinel and didn't live with the diamonds, I think the whole angle of Steven being unsure of what he wants for his future, knowing that he still wants to help people but maybe he lost his touch, all of that would have been amplified with the death of Spinel. Steven not only having Jasper to worry about, but frequently being haunted by his biggest failure, how he was never able to save Spinel, instead performing quite the opposite act. But as always, these are just my thoughts and I want to hear yours. What do you think? Would you have wanted to see a variation of the Steven Universe movie where Spinel does die? Why or why not? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below or tweet your thoughts at Ryan's Vids. And for more of my own thoughts,
Vlogs, you can find me at Ostrich Vlogs. We're also on Instagram. Special thanks to Art with Coda for creating an awesome thumbnail. For more of his wonderful art, you can find him on Tumblr and Instagram at Art with Coda and subscribe to his YouTube channel. Link down below in the description. If you enjoyed this video, please throw a like and subscribe to the Roundtable for more great cartoon content. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have an awesome day. Ostrich Vlogs, signing out.